Greetings everyone. As always, I would like to start with a brief disclaimer. These videos are meant to help people learn physics. At times, it's meant to provide helpful hints. And at other times, it's meant to take you through the entire problem with hopefully what is a decent explanation so you can solve many others on your own. I try my best not to show the entire answer in any one screen so that the video remains about learning how to solve the problem and is not something simple that can be used as a shortcut to cheat or get ahead. If you're putting up with the sound of my voice, clearly you must want to learn this material. Okay, let's get started. All right, let's, uh, let's take a look at the problem. Uh, there's a bullet. All right, so there's a bullet and it hits a block of wood. And that results in some work because the block, uh, it, the impact drives the block some distance. And the question being asked is what was the speed of the bullet? So this question is using several properties of physics. Let's think about them. Uh, momentum, because the bullet uses its momentum and uh, attaches itself to the wood and then they both together travel a certain distance. Uh, there's uh, some work involved and uh, let's draw this for a better visual explanation so here's some sort of a gun with a bullet coming out of it and what happens is there's a block of wood sitting right next to it as soon as it comes out so that there's no velocity is lost between hypothetically between the time the bullet leaves the gun and it hits the block of course uh, that results in the block moving to another location and uh, that difference how much it moves is given to us 9.5 meters that's right here what else does it tell us it tells us the mass of the block which is 135 kilogram it tells us the mass of the bullet which is effectively 0. Uh, 0.25 I believe grams uh, 25 yeah 25 kilograms sorry convert converting grams to kilograms um, we are given the coefficient of friction um, as you kinetic friction meaning meaning while the block is moving is 0 0.25 that doesn't have any units that's just a number okay this is what we know now what else might a physics student know in order to solve this problem free body diagram is also uh, important here because friction is involved and you you will want to measure friction and see who lends how much etc so let's start with the free body diagram so there's uh, the force of gravitation uh, on this wood block which is mass times acceleration due to gravity which is basically m times g g being the constant for gravity so there's that um, because the whatever the horizontal surface that the block of wood is sitting on is there there's a normal force being applied by that against the block of wood so there's that and uh, clearly they say there's friction so when the block is in motion there will be a force of friction so that's the free body free body diagram i came up with now there's some information given and some we have to get at so what we're told is that the block moved. Now, if the block moved, um, what are what forces are in play? What laws of conservation can we apply here? So we know that the kinetic energy of the system or the potential energy of the system, or generally the energy of a system is transformed. It's neither created nor destroyed. So we can, we can say that the work performed by the force of friction to stop this block, because it stopped at a point, right? So friction was working, it was deaccelerating the block and it, it was working to stop the bullet and the block and it did, eventually it stops at a point. So the work done by, so there's a work done by friction, right, and that's going to be in joules, the unit for ener uh, kinetic energy, potential, en potential energy work is all joules. Um, yeah, and uh, initially the bullet had kinetic energy, right, uh, this, well, actually, this is the kinetic energy of the bullet plus the block together. After the bullet embedded itself 
in the block or as the bullet embedded itself in the block, the system came together and it had a total kinetic energy. So at the beginning, bullet and block had a kinetic energy and that should you know come out equal to the work done by friction to stop the block. Now they'd say that the collision is, uh, I think the collision is inelastic because most collisions in the real world, un unless it's subatomic particles, are inelastic. So let's just keep in mind that the collision is inelastic is an assumption because they never said it was elastic. Uh, what that means is, uh, you know, conservation of, uh, well, actually that means we cannot apply uh, conservation of energy. All right, so you know what? If they want us to solve this problem, I'm just going to assume that they do want this to be an elastic collision. So I'm gonna keep going back. If I'm wrong about this, just leave a comment on the video. So we're going to assume, oops, my mistake. Going to assume an elastic collision here. Although I must say that's totally wrong, <laughs> bad thing to do. All right, so keep on chugging. Next, what happens? Um, so yeah, let's convert this into formulas. We have a, a formula. Oh, by the way, there's one more thing that we know. Just going to write it down. We know that the potential, uh, not the potential, sorry, uh, the linear momentum of the bullet. So the linear momentum of the bullet plus the linear momentum of the block. This is before the bullet hits the block. So the linear momentum of the bullet just before it hits the block and the linear momentum of the block itself, which is at rest, must equal the linear momentum of bullet and block together. Okay. So now we have two systems of equations and we should be able to substitute, do the math and solve it. And kinetic energy's formula is one half mv squared. And what is the work done by friction? Well, let's think about it. Uh, it'll be the coefficient of kinetic friction times the normal force, right? That's just force of friction. Here, I'll write it. Coefficient, normal force, multiplied by normal force. You can use capital N or lowercase n. I don't think it matters. Uh, and work by definition is displacement. So there's some amount of distance it traveled, which was 9.5 meters. So if you substitute this, uh, you should get an answer, right? Mu of, uh, mu of K or coefficient of friction is given. Um, force due to this F of N can be determined because some of all forces in the Y direction should be mass times acceleration. The block of wood is not accelerating, so that's zero. So force of gravity, uh, assuming force of gravity is positive and force of friction is negative, the direction force of gravity plus minus force of uh, normal force is equal to zero. So basically force of gravity equals normal force. So, you know, and we know what force of gravity is, m times g. So it becomes mu of k, m times g, times change in distance. You can substitute all of this, one half mv square. Uh, and uh, yeah, so let's keep going. Um, if you move, I'll move it around, just make it easier. So the two goes on the other side, and uh, let's see. Velocity is what we want to find, muzzle speed of the bullet. Two goes gets multiplied by that, mg, change in distance, there's all that. Good stuff, and uh, what else do we have? Uh, do gets divided by mass. Of course, that's the mass of bullet plus the block, so let's keep that in mind, and the square root of that should, so you know, this should give us so we, we will know mu of k, we will know mass of, uh, let's see, uh, yeah, both two, no, this is the mass of the block, so yeah, that keep that in mind, this is the mass of the block and the bullet, actually, yeah, and this is also the mass of the block and the bullet, so yeah. So we know the masses together, uh, we know the gravity, we know the change in distance, uh, actually, what don't we know? Seems like we know a lot, uh, okay. If you solve for this, uh, I at least ended up with 6.83 meters per second. And just have to substitute everything. Okay. Um, hmm. So, yeah, so, but be careful. This is the velocity of uh, the bullet and the block, right? You would think I should stop right there. No, this is the velocity of bullet and the block. This is not the muzzle speed of just the bullet. 
when the bullet hit the block, it you know together as a system they started traveling at this speed and force of friction eventually forced them to stop because it was an opposing force. All right, let's take a look. We want to get to the bullet. So conservation of momentum on the right side. So mass times velocity, mass of uh, bullet and mass of velocity plus mass of block, I'll call it capital B, velocity of block equals mass of little b, big B, the system together and the so now we know the velocity of the system together is 6.83. I'm going to skip the units for now. Uh, we know the mass of the two things. If you add them, it's 0 0.025 plus 1.35 here and here, right? So you know it's uh, uh, roughly 1.38 if you round it off. And uh, what else do we know? So we know that. We know that the block didn't have any velocity, so that goes to zero. So we're adding zero. We know the block, uh, not the block, the mass of the bullet right now we just need the velocity of the bullet so if you solve for this um, hmm, it should be you know 1.38 times 6.383 divided by 0 0.025 again depends on how you like rounding 377 meters per second if you say no you know there were only two significant figures in uh, in 9.5 meter and 25 gram bullet so you insist on two significance figures you can say it's 380 meters per second and I think I think that should be the right answer all right I hope you can attack any problem that is similar to this uh, if you just think about all the things you know and what you can do with them thanks for watching